everywhere is on fire because of uh, Eda and uh, I believe he's speaking because of what has been happening. Well, I don't really know, but let's keep up across and uh, subscribe if today's your first time and uh, comment. Let's keep commenting so that uh, other people will see this post, keep sharing it so that people will see it. By the time we all get informed, they will not be using us to uh, uh, catch uh, crews or carry capture, you understand? So that's the reason why we need to keep sharing this video for other people to also see it and subscribe so that you don't miss any information. Once again, thank you for stopping by and seeing you in my next post. Bye for now. A very good morning to everyone, the sound of my voice. This is Admin Ellis. And by God's grace, today is, today is the 22nd day of May, 2024. Before I proceed on this voice note, I just want to uh, recall what I, I read in the Bible, what I've read in the Bible uh, countless times. King Saul was anointed to be king of Israel. And along the line, God rejected him to be king. And in his place, he made David the king. David was a young man, probably naive and innocent and ignorant and, you know, uh, not knowing how to rule, not knowing how to make decisions. But God saw something special in him and made him king at that young age not minding the age of Saul Saul the wisest thing Saul will have done was to accommodate David and support him you know step down and support David but greed of course greed will not allow Saul and Saul began to hunt David pursue him up and down trying to kill him trying to destroy him, trying to tarnish his image, try everything possible to terminate him permanently. But because God has anointed him, God will always have a way of fighting for his own. God will always have a way of protecting his own. And when the time came, David became king and reigned, and reigned in the, in the whole land of Israel. And God said, this is a man after my heart. Why am I saying this? In the grand ecosystem we are today, so many things have transpired. If God has said, no, you won't be the one to dispose this grant. Let a child dispose it. I think the wisest thing to do is to support that child, no matter his age. That's the wisest thing to do. If we allow greed to take over us, we can only fight and fight for a while, but God will always have a way of protecting and preserving his own until the day appointed. I'm narrating this, thing, this story this way because there is a new fight going on now currently. Uh, most of us, or a few of us must have observed, especially those in River State, or Grand Pressure Group, and in quote, UAG. And it is not going to spell good. It's, go it's not going to benefit anybody. This fight that is brewing up, it is just at the early stage. It is coming up gradually. Of course, I just read Ostas Dawood's uh, letter asking for proof of payment from UAAG. And then I tried to investigate further, and I discovered that uh, allegedly UAG was alleged to have asked for proof of payment from some people in uh, River State. And that warranted us as that would to write that to demand for proof of payment. Now, um, I want to call on the Elders Council. <laughs> this is the time you have to quench this fire that is that is that that has just uh, you know started okay it is it is just burning a straw a single straw this is the time to call on any elder in the grant ecosystem elder statesman in the grant ecosystem 
the fire has just started it's burning a straw this is the time to call on the masses to weigh in because the fire is just burning a straw let us not allow it to burn the whole wheat or the whole farm if it burns the whole farm nobody will benefit from it the whole crops will die but like I said, God will always have a way of preserving his own. Now, to the masses, if this thing persists, if it is not quenched, if you don't speak up and let this thing quench, petitions will start coming up, fresh petitions. Okay? UAG in quote, we write, all grand pressure group, we write, we petition. They will keep petitioning. And who is suffering it? It is I and you, the poor masses. Okay, it is I and you, the poor masses. This is the time to say stop to all these things. We don't bloody care who disburses. Anybody God has anointed to disburse, let the person go ahead to disburse it in conjunction with the, uh, in collaboration with the government or, or, or whatever, you know, whatever, I don't know. Okay, anybody that God has said, okay, this is the person I have chosen to work with the government to do this thing, let's support the person. Let's not kick. Let's not kick. Because if we talk about proof of payment, POP, <laughs> uh, you go bad, though. <laughs> you go bad. You go, in fact, not be bad. You go worse. You go worse. By this time next year, we are still on POP. By this time next year, this is May. By this time, May 2025, we are still on POP and petitions upon petitions, and we, the grant will still be there, not, not dispersed. This voice note is short. All these people I mentioned, this is the time to speak up. This is the time to fight, to stop this nonsense. I call it nonsense because it is absolute nonsense. This is the time to speak up and stop this nonsense so that this disbursement will come. Let us. Let us next month, let it not sit next month. A stitch in time saves nine. Thank you, and God bless us all. Stay tuned as we are going to pre present to you the voice of Mama Geneva coming out to put her own input towards this fire that is just coming up. Good news, live update. Subscribe to our channel as we are here to update you. Thank you for joining us.